There's been mud on my soul. There's been anger inside me. There's still unforgiven deeds that now it's time to free. I've been trapped inside so long. Don't remember how to live. How much of life has passed me by as I slept inside my dreams. Oh yes, sip the waters too. Let them wash all over you. The religions of the world are divided into seven categories. There are different religions. They say that there are about 4,200 religions in the world. Further subdivisions branches castes creeds and so on there is christianity there is buddhism hinduism islam and so many but that there, there is yet another classification of religion religions The first is ignorance oriented religion. The second is fear oriented religion. The third greed oriented religion. Ignorance is there. and yet person feels that he is religious in fact there is an illusion of religion or religion is misunderstood or ill defined ill understood that becomes a very dangerous religion the word religion is the translation of the word dharma but dharma is a very higher word the moment you translate it to religion it loses its beauty its original essence dharma means that which is applied into practice dharna so the first type of religion is ignorance oriented religion where the religion has turned into a set of superstitions or recurring rituals or ceremonials 
कर्मकांड अजीम ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस The second type of religion is fear oriented religion where the followers are taught to fear god do this otherwise you will land up in hell do this otherwise the result is all the sufferings pain and anguish of hell so fear is introduced as a main element in the religion you are forced to believe if you don't it will be disastrous the third type of religion is greed oriented religion where the greed is given heaven follow this you will come to heaven do this you will go to heaven paradise fairies the streams of wine here there is so less wine in heaven you will have lot of wine here you don't have luxuries but do this in heaven you will live a luxurious life you will have all the comforts of the world you will have all the wealth of the world you will have servants and everything so that is greed oriented religion <laughs> that's why do tapasya here so that you can get the fruit in heaven as heaven that is the third type of religion the fourth type of religion is the religion of logic calculation religion of logic everything is calculated this 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 do this this will happen do that this will happen so logic is there calculations are there reasoning is there there is no role of emotions feelings it is not bhakti it is only logic reasoning it not business <laughs> it's logic so it's all about logic that is the fourth type of religion religion of calculation religion of logic religion of reasoning religion of head baba often says in murli head and heart the fifth type of religion is the religion of intelligence this is higher here lot of intelligence is used it's not just about calculations or reasonings or logic it's higher intelligence the sixth type of religion is the religion of meditation there are many religions in the world they focus only on meditation like zen they don't talk of any rituals or karma kand they don't talk of ceremonials they just talk of meditation as a only path and what is meditation witnessing is meditation that's what they say so the journey begins with witnessing so witnessing sakshi detached observership is the process and the end result is no mind where the mind is destroyed you reach the high stage mano aman and what is the seventh type of religion anyone The first type of religion is the religion of ignorance the second religion is the religion of fear the third religion is the religion of greed the fourth religion is the religion of logic the fifth one is intelligence the sixth is meditation and seventh yeah ecstasy the seventh is the religion of ecstasy joy love pure bliss supernal super sensuous happiness where all those things are included these other things intelligence logic in fact everything is there in that religion so these are the seven types of religions in the world but such classification is not so 
famous. People fight in the names of religion. Like, it is shown that there was once a guru and he had two disciples, two sevadharis, two servers. So they had divided the seva. So once the guru was sleeping, they divided. One will massage this leg, another will massage this leg, half off. The duty was divided. So the guru slept. So they kept on massaging and pressing the leg. Then guru turned on this side. So this leg, the right leg was above the left leg. The disciple who was on the left side says, remove that leg from my side. This is my area. The other said, why should I remove? I will not remove. And they started fighting. And in that fight, both the legs of the Guru. <laughs> this is how the people of this world fight in the name of religions. There are more fights in the world which are fought by believers than non-believers. Non-believers, theist fought more battles than atheists. Gnostic in the name of religion. Swami Vivekananda has said somewhere, the entire Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean is filled with blood in the name of fights for religion. Because of this. So when the religion deteriorates, when the religion goes down, when there is downfall of religion, we hear one statement in Gita. What is that? Yada, yada hi dharmasya. Whenever the religion falls, whenever the religion deteriorates, whenever the irreligion gets the upper hand, dharmasya glani, when there happens blasphemy, dharma glani, the fall of religion, I come. That's a statement we listen Yada, yada hi dharmasya dharm lanir bhavati bharata abhyuddhanam dharmasya tadatmanam sujamyaham pavitranaya sadhunat vinachaya tadushkritam dharma sansthapanarthaya sambhavani yuge yuge Religion goes down and the irreligion gets the upper hand. The very the core values of religions are lost. The divine virtues are lost. Religion deteriorates when such a depravity of religion happens. To liberate sadhus, this is a very significant statement. Sadhus are already, they think they are liberated people. To liberate this so-called sannyasis, yogis, sadhus, vinashaya cha dushkritam, to destroy the irreligious, the demons, dharma sansthapanarthaya, to re-establish the religion again, I come. So that's a statement in Gita, quite famous in the fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. So today, we'll discuss about this. As we saw, there are different types of religions and every religion has got deterioration. When Buddha came, the religion was different. When Christ came, the religion was different. When Mahavira came, the religion was different. But the later stages of those religions are very different. So there is deterioration of almost every religion today. The core values are lost. There is fanaticism. People have become fanatics. There is bigotry. There is egoism. Religion is the destruction of ego. Now the religion has become the expansion of ego. So if you see the whole world, when such a stage arises in the world, Some higher power is needed. Yesterday's class we saw 
there's a house first guest second guest third guest fourth guest and the house is disturbed then what is the treatment invitation to the supreme strength and he comes and restores everything again so wherever whenever wherever and whenever there is deterioration god comes so god has come now nobody ever knew who god is there are only and only suppositions hypothesis guess god is a guesswork is a puzzle a conundrum unsolved undeciphered uncovered nobody ever knew people talked about god but who is he nobody knows there are books written on god but how he is he nobody knows and how can ever anybody know god he himself has to come and give his own introduction you may worship any worship anything as god there is a person in sri lanka and i am sitting here i am sending him money every month okay he doesn't know me but money is coming to him so now he thinks who is this person who is sending me money is he person or some animal or some human being or some divine being so he sees a cockroach and this cockroach is very much loving he thinks that probably let me worship the person who is there this cockroach is the symbol of that person and he starts worshiping that cockroach thinking that through him that other person is sending me money so now a new system has been started so his followers will follow and follower and follower and follower so why that cockroach was worshiped nobody knows and later on they started preparing statues and images and pictures and portraits and also temples why you do that because our ancestors do that parampara and nobody knows the truth so this is how things happen so baba says no one knows who god is i come and then i tell this is me how this is what i am and how fortunate are those souls who recognize him who understand him who get to know him and how unfortunate are those souls who do not recognize him because god says that when i come i don't come as in a fanciful clothes i don't come as an attractive human being avajananti mama muda manushi tamashit when i come avajananti they do not know me mama muda they are so mood mat they are so fool they are fools they don't know me because i come in a very ordinary attire so god has come now and what is his purpose paritrana ya sadhunat vinashaya cha dushkrita it is not said about human beings he has not come to destroy any particular human he has come to destroy those demonic qualities he has come to reestablish values it is not about persons that he is talking that there is a demon and i am come and destroy him there is a ravan a person and i destroy him ravan is an invisible entity there is no person as maya so this fall of religion forget about what is happening in the world it's all about the soul when i the soul i was so virtuous once upon a time now i have fallen down earlier there were no vices in me now i am full of vices full of jealousy full of anxiety full of ego full of anguish full of suffering full of misery full of pain now this is the stage the dharma glani is in the soul the deterioration of dharma is in the soul forget what is happening in the world unless and until the soul rises world cannot rise you know we are taught or we have learned give sakash emerge souls that's good but 
that's also an extortion you know this that's also extortion some people say that our yoga consists only of this what we do we also do every one of us we go here we go there go in madhuban go to four dham four go to different places different continents immerse souls talk with them give sakash but this is all extortion in one way real yoga is not this real yoga is only one and what is that real yoga means you don't have to remember god real yoga you don't real meditation you don't remember anyone you don't you are not even soul conscious real yoga is only one combined you are one with him who will remember whom everything is this is the highest stage of yoga here you are not giving any sakash giving sakash is to go out there are two varieties one is introversion another is extroversion this extroversion is again of two types introversion and extroverted extroversion or even this introversion is of two types introverted introvert and extroverted introversion so when you give sakash what are you doing you go out you go different places so you are going out you say that i have karmic account with this soul let me emerge and ask for forgiveness and let me pardon in fact your energy is going to that person the real yoga is not about sakash the real yoga is not about remembering anybody the real yoga is only one and what is that you just become one with him you know there is a time waste in this process of travel what we do i am a i am a soul now i am going to subtle world so this is a travel now from subtle world i am entering into the supreme abode from there i am coming into the golden age and then in the then different places you are moving out then what is to be done what is real yoga real yoga is change of scene switch param dham switch on uh, scene change subtle world scene change golden age scene change souls scene change i am soul scene change combined you don't go anywhere stop going anywhere i am soul now i am going to the subtle world then from subtle world i go to the supreme abode there is so much time waste in the travel part sometimes accidents <laughs> you know when you watch any serial or any in television any movie for example what happens in that scenes change garden change mountain change ground change home change now there is a song change how they change clothes now the actor is wearing one shirt in next scene different shirt do they show that they are changing they don't show that they just show this also our yog should be here everything is there i don't have to go anywhere here is param dham here is subtle world here is golden age here is confluence age here are the four pilgrimages of madhuban madhuban is here madhuban is not outside madhuban is not geographical area madhuban is within me everything just have two switches here on off on so you can have different switches satyug on golden age everything just on in one second you don't have to go anywhere make this change in your yoga what we do is oh we are so happy i don't have any waste thoughts when i give sakash but what are you doing in sakash this person this person this person this person you are just moving and then you feel oh you are free from waste thought that's good but how long you will continue in graduation now you have to enter into post graduation that is graduation the yoga which we all do is graduation now when you will do pg and phd <laughs> you have to have certain higher degrees or you will keep on doing the whole thing the same record cliche going on going on going on i am so i am so do you ever say that i am male and i am not female i am male i am not female do you remind yourself this washroom male female i'll not go this and go this 
do you remind yourself i am not female i am male i am not female i am male then if you are really soul why you have to keep on reminding yourself that should also become natural that should also become if he is really my father i have to keep on telling him i have to remind him you are ocean of this and that and that and that and that <laughs> for remaining busy but the greatest the highest the purest the ultimate yoga is combined just be one with him i am ocean of knowledge i am ocean of bliss i am sachidananda i am satyam i am shivam i am sundaram so this is the upgradation this is the rise this is the crescendo not the descendo of religion the glani the depravity the deterioration the wickedness the despondency which has entered the soul let it come out of that darkness in spiritual language it is known as the dark night of the soul it's known as the dark night of the soul sometimes this night can be very long but still hope is there at the end of the tunnel there is light and the light will come but you have to change everything the yoga the meditation techniques which you have been doing till now you have to just remove all this and start something new how long you will continue the same i am soul i am soul i am soul i am sai child of supreme soul i am going here i am going there i am going there everything there is a introversion but this is extroverted introversion there is bahya mukta in this intro in this introversion so this is no introversion at all there is so much extrovertness why you want to go anywhere don't stop going anywhere sit and emerge everything here in one second don't say that i am going to subtle subtle world or i am going to paramdham paramdham is here i am into paramdham right now here this body is paramdham om shanti <laughs>